probably touched and inspired by her work. And our students, your students, whether they know it or not, are being touched by her work. Um, and once as a young professional uh, teacher, I've been interviewed for a, a magazine about Ms. Belay's teaching. And I must have spoken with the interviewer perhaps for an hour and a half about her methods and her style of delivery and her amazing psychology <laughs> and, and all this. And uh, subsequently, the interviewer spoke to Ms. Belay. And uh, Ms. Belay smiled. And although she wouldn't exactly contradict me because you were never completely wrong, sort of wrong. Um, <laughs> she did say, you know, I'm really not that interested in teaching. I'm interested in learning. Which, um, in retrospect, having thought about that statement for a long time, it's an amazing statement because learning doesn't need teaching. Learning can happen spontaneously through self-discovery, through experiences one has, through flashes of insight. But teaching does require learning. As someone once said, if the student's not learning, the teacher's not teaching. And I've thought about those words a lot, and uh, I don't want to take any more time today, um, but I hope you will think about them also because I think they're, they're good words for this play. <laughs>